Hey, my friends, it's me, Andy Man Howe. Check out all those bees. That's a lot of bees. And that's a really cool mural. It was painted by Matt Willie here in Lake City, South Carolina. Oh, that's really awesome. I wonder, I wonder how many bees are up there. Ooh, let's kill them. Let's see. Let's walk over here. Let's talk. Let's see. We got, let's see, we got one, we got two, we got three, four. Hmm. Yep, five, that's one, six. I wonder where the queen bee is. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, two. What's up, my friends? It's me, Andy Man How. Do you know what this is? Oh, how cool is this? This is a bee smoker. It's used by beekeepers. How cool is that? Oh, and I'm here with my friend today. We're taking care of bees. We're gonna learn all about them. So let's light this thing. We need some punch straw. Get that tuck in there. Oh, in there, nice and tight. Oh, check that out. And we've got these really cool things. These are called igniter pods. We're gonna put them in there as well. Oh, get them in there. And we're gonna light them. Oh yeah, let's see here. Oh, check it out. Fire is really dangerous. So always make sure there's an adult present. Maybe. Is it lit? I think so. Maybe, all right. Let's see. All right, we're gonna close the lid. Oh, let's see if it's gonna work. Oh, we gotta squeeze it to get some air in there. Oh, I think it's gonna work. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Check it out. We got a little bit of smoke. Check it out. <laughs> That's totally awesome. So this cool bee smoker. Beekeepers use this awesome tool to calm the bees down. So whenever they're in the hive and they're messing around, it doesn't bother the bees. How cool is that? <laughs> oh yeah. A little smokestack. <laughs> oh wow, I see the beehive over there. We gotta get suited up, so come on. Well, we're all set. Check this out. This is another cool tool that the beekeeper uses. It's a bee suit. I just need my gloves now. Oh yeah, check it out. Let's slide these on. Got my right side on. Oh yeah. Up, oh, getting on there. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's totally awesome. And one more. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so much fun. Ah, uh, yeah. Get my fingers in there. Ah, uh, there we go. And we're all set. Let's go on over to the beehives. Come on. Oh, wow. Check it out. It's the beehives. And we're smoking it. Making sure they're calming down. Oh, check it out. Can you see them swarming around? Look at them. Really, really cool. Oh, and here comes my friend Carrie now. These are her beehives. Hey, Miss Carrie. Hey, now. How you doing? Good. How That's are you? That's awesome. So we've got your beehives here. Can you tell us what kind of bees are these? Absolutely. So these are honey bees that we keep in, in these hive boxes here. That's totally awesome. So they make honey. Oh, that's totally cool. Well, they're supposed to be different kinds of bees, right? So what kind of bees are in here? Like, what do they do? Yeah, let's take the lid off. Oh, wow. Look at them. Look at these bees. How cool is that? You see them? That's a lot of bees. Check it out. So inside of the hive here, you're going to find three types of bees. One is the queen bee. And we'll find her in just a moment. Oh, that's totally cool. And her job is only to lay the eggs, okay? Oh, wow. To make baby bees. The worker bees are the bees that go out and collect the nectar and the pollen. Oh, that's cool. They essentially keep the entire hive. Look at that. So they're the ones that make the honey. Look and then you that. have the drone bees, which are the male bees. And they're a little bit bigger. We'll find one in just a moment. And the drone bees, they, actually just fertilize the eggs. So oh, nice. they eat the honey and fertilize the eggs. That's totally cool. Well, okay, so oh, there's a big bee right there. What is that? You can see here the queen. Oh, that's the queen. That's awesome. She has a white dot on her back. So that just tells us um, what year she was installed in this hive. Oh, that's really cool. After about five years, we'll need to replace her um, and get a new queen. 
Oh, that's totally awesome. So the smaller bees here are worker bees. And sometimes you'll actually see the worker bees on her back. They try to keep her clean and really actually treat her like a true queen. Oh, that's awesome. Well, she's got a lot of royal subjects. <laughs> that's totally awesome. So the significance in the queen um, and the reason why she's different is because if you look at her back end, it's much longer. That allows her to, um, to get down into the comb and actually lay the egg. Let's see if we can find a drone bee. And you said they'd be a little bit bigger, right? They are. They're much bigger. So here's a drone bee. Oh, wow. I see it. Oh, that's cool. So it's actually quite a bit larger than the regular worker bees. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That's really awesome. And so we're just going to kind of swipe them over a little bit so you can see what they're doing here. Wow. So they've made their comb. They make their comb by going and getting nectar. And then they take the nectar and they put it in their mouth and mix it with their saliva which makes a sticky substance that helps build the comb. Once they get the comb built, you'll see, if you look close inside, you'll see the larvae. The larvae are the eggs wow, that the queen really has cool. laid. So then the workers, worker bees go behind it and fill it out with what you see here. Let's move some over. They fill them out here um, to protect the babies inside. They leave a couple open um, because actually what they'll do is whenever they hatch, the worker bees will go inside these holes and they'll flap their ring wings really fast and it keeps them warm. Oh, wow. That's totally awesome. Oh, so I can hold on to it? For sure. Oh, check this out. How awesome is this? So why aren't they singing? So honeybees are generally not aggressive. Um, if they sing you, they actually die. So they don't want to have to sting you. And here, they don't have any honey made yet in this hive. And so they don't have anything to protect. Um, normally when they have honey, you know, you may see them get a little more aggressive, but they're not like a yellow jacket that's going to chase you down and sting you. Um, you can see me without anything on, um, kind of touching them. And, um, you know, they're not, they're not aggressive in, um, insects. That's totally awesome. That's totally awesome. And so what, why, why are bees important? Well, bees are essentially one of the most vital insects to our food chain. Oh, I bet uh, so. They pollinate everything that we need for all of our fruits and vegetables. Oh, that's totally cool. So like our like apples and our bananas and even some of our lettuces and salad greens. That's right. The good stuff, right? That's right. That's totally awesome. Check out all of those bees, man. And they're making honey. Oh, do you like honey? I love honey. The reason we have this lid is because if you look inside here, we put sugar water in here, and that is what that is their food source um, until they start making honey. So they'll eat on the sugar water until they make enough honey to, to feed on that. That's awesome. And check this out. This is like their front door. That is their front door. So this is how they go in and out. They'll fly out, collect the pollen and the nectar, and then they'll fly back in, take it in, put it inside the cones. Wow, check it out. This is the other hive. And all of the bees are right around these three frames. So that means the queen's in there somewhere. Oh wow, look, and they've even got a lot of honeycomb in there. I would love to. Check it out. Check out all those bees. Well, that's got a lot on there. They will um, hide the queen to keep her safe. So we might not be able to see her, but you'll know that she's there uh, because you, again, the presence of the larvae. All right, well, we're gonna wrap these back up, get them back in their homes. Check this out. We're going to slide that frame back in there. And look, it's got 10 frames. Let's count them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. It's got 10 frames. And then we can put the lid back on. Oh, yeah. So you cool just want to be careful that you don't mash the bees when you put the lid on. Oh, 
Oh. Perfect. Good job. It's all set. Now. Awesome. It's been awesome. Thank Thanks you. For your help today. Yeah. Oh wow. Check out this really cool sign. It's got a bee on it. That's awesome. And it says bee yard. We're in a yard and we've got bees. So we need to put this out. Why? Well, because we gotta keep our bees safe. Yep. Because they give us all kinds of cool honey and cool stuff. So that means we can't be spraying around the beehives, like all those insect sprays, unless you let your beekeeper know that you're gonna be doing it. So we can keep them safe. So have some honey and some vegetables. That's awesome. What an awesome day working with an amazing insect, the honeybee. We learned there are three types in the hive. We have the worker bees, the drone bees, and the queen bee. Those bees are working hard to make the honey. We'll come back soon and we'll extract the honey. That will be awesome. 334, 335, 336, 337. 337 bees are on this building. Woo, that's a lot of bees. Well, thanks for watching Handyman How today. We'll see you next time. Handyman Hal is your most trusted handyman for all your repair needs. Need an amazing lemonade stand? How about help with learning shapes and colors? Trouble fueling your airplane? Handyman Hal can do it all. No job is too big or small for Handyman Hal. Whether your car wash needs repair or you need to get rid of some expired groceries, you can count on Handyman Hal. Give him a call today. The handyman that's got a plan. Handyman Hal. Handyman Hal is a fun kids show and we want to say thanks for watching.